Welcome to another 7 Minutes with Matt. I'm your host, Matt Rogers. And as always, thank you for spending the next 7 minutes of your life with me. I believe it's going to add value to the next 7 weeks of your life. But today in particular, this one might carry well into beyond years and even decades. Because the question is, should I date my spouse? And most of us say, yes, you should absolutely date your spouse. But most of us don't. And like going to Chili's with the family and the kids, that doesn't count. Like I'm talking about intentionally dating your spouse. Make a reservation, get dressed up, wear the nice dress. Gentlemen, put on the nice shoes, spray the cologne, do your hair. God bless you if you have any. I don't, but shave, look good, smell good, bring it like date. Um, why is it important? Because women and men both want to be pursued. Everyone says, oh, women want to be pursued. But yeah, dude, so do men. Like, I like when my wife is flirting with me. I like when my wife says, I look handsome. I like when my wife gives me a little extra affection when I walk by. Like, and women, we know you do too. Like, women want to be pursued, but so do men. And men also want the admiration, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about dating. Why is it important? And I bet you if most of us asked us the question, when's the last time you and your spouse went on an intentional date? I guarantee, you know, most people, it would be over a month. And some people, unfortunately, be like, we haven't dated in years. How sad. Because that's what the relationship was founded on. Like at some point we met, you know, whether it's, hey, we locked eyes at the bar one night and we couldn't keep our eyes off of each other. Or it's, we met through a friend and he looked really cute. And so, you know, I got his pager number because this was back in the late 90s. And, you know, he paged me 143 and then we went on our first date. Like whatever it is, it started with pursuing and dating. But Then we get married, then we have kids, then life happens, then we get stressed out, then we get crunched for bills and money, and then the wrong president that we didn't like gets voted in, and then things get tougher, and then life happens, and then we get sick, and now we have back pain, and then we get tired, and then it's like, dude, I I mean, like, my wife knows I love her, dude, like, you know, we love each other, we don't have to date. You're lying to yourself. You are lying to yourself if you don't think it's important to date your spouse. I don't care if you're freaking 16 or 76. You must date your spouse. It is so important. I don't know about you, but I'm going on 19 years of being married. My wife still gives me those butterfly feelings deep down in the pit of my stomach when she looks good, when she smells good, when I know that it's going to be like on that night. Like I still get that feeling like, oh snap, it's about to be on or oh snap, she looks good. I get that feeling. And when we go out or when we date, when I get my wife away from the chaos, I mean the kids, I mean the chaos, when I get her away from that, dude, she becomes a different person. Like I get 23 year old Terry back and it's fun. She's funnier, I'm funnier, she's more relaxed. I'm more relaxed. She's more affectionate. I'm more affectionate because, like, you know, if we're in the kitchen and she's trying to feed the baby, our eight-year-old's going crazy, like, Dad, Mom, I can't find the, you know, right shirt I wanted. And then Mason, you know, the 15-year-old boy comes home from football. I'm hungry. And then Braden wants Dad kind of gas money, like, whatever. Like, most time you ain't going to be affectionate. You sure as heck ain't going to feel sexy and you want to flirt. Like, because life happens. And these are all good things. Like, you have kids and, like, dude, those are blessings. Those are good things. But when it comes to the affection, the attention that you need from your spouse, most of the time it ain't there. But when you pull them out of that environment, you get a different person. I don't know if I'm speaking to anybody today, but man, Friday night, Terry away from the kids with the babysitter, different person than Tuesday morning, Terry getting everyone ready for school or Tuesday afternoon, Terry, when they all come home. How do we do that? And gentlemen, this starts with you. We are the men of the house. It's on us to intentionally, number one, 
Make it important. You make time for your golf leagues. You make time for your conference calls. You make time to schedule appointments for your clients that bring temporary money to the table. For what? So you can maybe go on a vacation or date your wife away? Dude, make the date with your wife important. And if your life doesn't allow once a week, make it once every other week. Do not make it less than twice a month. I'm going to repeat that. Do not date your spouse less than twice a month. Think about when you first got together and you're pursuing each other. If you only saw each other, and I'm not talking about long distance relationships because eventually the long distance relationship became a relationship. Long distance relationships are only long distance temporary. There's no such thing as a 40 year marriage that has been a long distance marriage. It don't work. Long distance relationships become relationships. At some point, if you would have only saw your spouse twice a month, it wouldn't have worked out. It wouldn't have worked out long term, if we're being honest. So if I get a different Terry when I take her away, why would I only want or make time for that Terry twice a month or once a month or four times a year? Dude, I don't care who you are, what you believe. If you're a pastor, if you're a preacher, if you're an evangelist, you're a prophet, if you're a businessman, if you're a president, if you're sexy, if you're, it don't matter. You only date your spouse four or five times a year. It's going to have a negative impact on your relationship. It, it, it just is. I'm sorry. Number one, make it important. Tell your wife, you are important to me. Tell her, I get a different person when I take you out and I like that person. And I'm going to take you out. And it doesn't have to be, you know, Jeff Ruby Steakhouse or Kane Prime Steakhouse or Mastro Steakhouse. Dude, take her to Chili's if that's what you can afford. Make a sandwich and take her to a picnic in the forest. That will be a grand slam home run. The dates that don't cost money, that cost thought. Oh, my gosh. That is, you ask most women on the planet. They would rather you pack a tuna sandwich and a bologna sandwich and take them up the street to a secluded hill and bust out a little cheap picnic basket that you got from the 99 cent store instead of taking them to a $200 dinner with ceviche steak and all that stuff's great. But when you put thought into it over money, bruh, game changer. Number one is make it important. Number two is plan it. Put it on the calendar. If it ain't on the calendar, you won't do it. I'm not talking about a to-do list. I'm talking about Wednesday night, 6 o'clock. Babe, I got the reservation. You get the babysitter. We don't have a babysitter. Call the neighbor. Call your mom. Call some. Get a babysitter. Plan it. And number three, do it. Execute it. And watch how awesome it is. We used to have these friends. It was so sad. They went on. It was like their anniversary or birthday or something. And they finally got a babysitter. And they went out on a date. And they came home early because they didn't know what to do. They were bored with each other. Good people. Three great kids. Fun family. Awesome. They didn't know what to do with each other. They went out on a date. I wasn't there, but when my wife talked to the wife, she goes, yeah, we came home early. Why? We got bored. We didn't know what to do. How sad. Oh, my Lord pull over on the side of a road behind an insurance company on a back road where no one's watching and get it on. Like, dude, do something different. Date your spouse. You will get a different spouse and your marriage will show so much fruit and it'll be exciting. Keep it exciting. Do something different. Holy smokes. Should I date my spouse? Absolutely. And if you're doing it less than two times a month, you're missing the mark. Make it intentional, make it important, make a plan and execute it. I hope this has encouraged you to get out there and get it on. This has been another seven minutes with Matt. Thank you.